Hi there and welcome to another GCSE revision video from Hegarty Maths. This is again the fourth video on compound measures and in this particular video we're going to be doing the exam style questions. Now it's taken me a few videos to get here. Firstly you needed to know your speed, distance, time, and your density, mass, volume formulas. Then you needed to know your conversions. Um, then you needed to know um, uh, finally, then you need to combine these with uh, conversions in some exam style questions. As always, for more help with your GCSE and A level math studies, make sure you check out the YouTube channel or you follow the Twitter feed. Okay, uh, let's just start straight with exam questions. Here is a scale drawing of a play area. The scale, in this case, is 1, represents 800. A straight wall is built from A to B. 250 bricks are needed for each meter. Work out the total number of bricks needed. First thing you need to do is get your ruler out. Okay, in this particular case, if you get your ruler out, you'll find that that's six centimeters. Okay, so measure it as six centimeters. Now, every one centimeter must be 800 centimeters in the real world. So six centimeters must be six lots of this, which is uh, 4,800 centimetres. Dividing by 100, this must be equal to 48 metres. Okay, now 250 bricks are needed for each metre, therefore 250 multiplied by 48, which is equal to uh, 12,000 bricks are needed. Okay, and a nice easy exam question for us to lap up the marks there. Exam question two. Um, two diagrams show bottles of the same drink. You are given one litre is 100 centilitres. So 60 litres cost 78p and 1.5 litres cost £1.99. Let's convert these everyth everything so it's in the same unit. Uh, one litre is 100 centilitres. So one and a half litres must be 150 centilitres. And uh, £1.99 is 199p. So we've got two offers here 60 centilitres, and they're 78p. And we've got ourselves 150 centilitres, and that's 199p. Right? Now, what we could do if we divided this by, let's say, 2, then 30 centilitres must be 78 divided by 2, which is 39p. Right? And if we divided this by 5, we would again get 30 centilitres, and 199 divided by 5 is equal to uh, 39.8 pence. Okay, so this one is clearly cheaper, therefore uh, the small version is cheaper. Nice easy way to do the comparisons there. Alternatively, what you could do if you really wanted to, you could double this. Okay, if you double this, it would be three litres, and that would be £1.99 uh, would be equal to £3.98. That might be another way of doing it. And you could multiply this by five, in which case, again, you get three litres, and 78 times five are £3.90. Uh, so again, this one's cheaper. Whichever way works for you, um, uh, is fine in this method as long as you're comparing like with like. Right, question three. This is a conversion question. The first mark came up was two marks. The second one was five marks. So the second one was quite complicated. So let's keep our working nice and uh, tidy. One mile is 1.6 kilometers. Convert six and a half miles to kilometers. That's simply, if one mile is 1.6, then six and a half miles must be 6.5 multiplied by 1.6. You tap that in your calculator and you get yourself 10.4 kilometers. Don't forget the units. That was the easy bit. Let's move on to the difficult bit here. A manufacturer claims he uses 5.5 liters per 100 kilometers. That means if he travels 100 kilometers, yeah, he uses 5.5 liters. And then th my car does 50 miles for every gallon, for one gallon. We're trying to work out, is my car using more or less fuel 
than the manufacturer manufacturer claims. Right, to compare these, we've got to compare light with light, so I'm actually going to move that there. The unit of measurement we need to know, we need to know two things. The first thing we need to know is that five miles is eight kilometers. You get a mark for stating that uh, conversion. And also, you need to know that one gallon is equal to 4.5 uh, liters. Right, and you get another mark for stating that. So let's convert um, these to the same unit. So the first things first, let's convert, um, let's keep this as it is. I'm going to keep this one. I like the look of this one, 100 kilometers per 5.5 liters. This one, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it into uh, how many uh, kilometers per gallon this is. So Kilometers per gallon. How many kilometers per gallon? Well, um, five miles is eight kilometers, so fifty miles must be eighty kilometers per gallon, one gallon. Okay, and we can convert that further. That's eighty kilometers per uh, a gallon is four point five liters, right? So we've got ourselves this point. So now we are almost comparing light with light. This is a hundred kilometers per five point five liters and 80 kilometers per uh, 4.5. So if we did 100 divided by 5.5 in the first instance, 100 divided by 5.5, that's 18.2 kilometers per liter. And for this one, 80 divided by 4.5, that's equal to um, 80 divided by 4.5, is equal to 17.8 kilometers per liter. So uh, my car, which was this one, is 17.8 kilometers per liter, and uh, the manufacturer is actually 18.2 kilometers per liter. Okay, is my car using more or less fuel uh, than the manufacturer claims? Well, we're going 17.8 kilometers for every liter okay so that means i'm not going as far for the same amount of fuel so i'm actually using more fuel okay and that's the answer to this question okay next question <clears throat> question four as that spends 140 uh and 40, uh, 140 euros 40 cents on fuel in France. Fuel costs 1 uh, euro 30 cents per litre. He travels this many miles in France. This is his economy. Work out his fuel economy. Okay, so he spends 140.40 uh, uh, euros in France. The fuel costs that many, that much. So how many litres does he buy? So litres purchased must be therefore 140.40 divided by 1.30. Okay, so 140.4 divided by 1.3 is equal to 108 litres. So he buys 108 litres. Now, his fuel economy is given by the formula distance over fuel, how much fuel we use. Now his distance, uh, we want the fuel economy in miles per gallon. Okay, so we have got that the distance is 1,200, okay, but we want in gallons. Now, 108 litres, we need to work out how many gallons this is. We know that 4.5 litres is equal to 1 gallon, right? And 108 divided by 4.5 is 24. So if I multiply this by 24, I get 108 litres, and that must be 24 gallons. Okay, so this 108 litres is therefore 24 gallons, so you divide by 24, 1200 divided by 24 is equal to 50 miles per gallon, as required. And we're done in the exam question four. Question five, George, George's car uses one gallon of petrol for every 40 miles, so for 40 miles, it's one gallon. Right, he goes on a 320 mile journey, so 320 divided by 40 is 8, 
Okay, so therefore he must use um, if every 40 miles is one gallon, 320 miles must be eight gallons. Okay, so I should write that probably underneath. Therefore, 320 miles, he must use eight gallons. Petrol costs one uh, 30 pence per litre. How much does the petrol journey cost? So he uses eight gallons. We're supposed to know that one gallon equals 4.5 litres. So eight gallons is therefore 4.5 times eight, which is equal to 36 litres. So the eight gallons is 36, and he is one pound 30 per litre. So one pound 30 multiplied by 36 would be 46.8 pounds. And don't forget to put point at eight zero there. So the first thing we do, let's just recap this. Um, the first thing we do is we write down that he goes 40 miles in, in one gallon, okay? In a 320 mile journey, he then must use eight gallons. We get our mark for that. We then need to, um, we are told that is one pound 30 per liter. So we have to convert eight gallons to liters. We know one gallon is 4.5. So eight gallons must be 4.5 times uh, uh, eight, which is 36 litres, and it's one pound 30 every litre. So one pound 30 times 36 gives you the petrol cost. And the last question here, the diagram shows a triangular prism. What's the volume? Well, the volume of a prism is always equal to the area, shaded area, times the depth. So the area of this triangle is a half, times 10 times 2, a half base times height, and we're going to multiply it by 3.5. So just tap that in your calculator, you would get yourself 35 centimetres cubed. That's the volume. And then it says the prism is made of wood, the density is this, calculate the mass. We know that density is mass over volume, and rearranging mass is density times volume. The density is 0.4 grams per centimetre cubed, our volume is 35 centimetres cubed. Multiply these together and we get ourselves that the mass must be 14 and the unit we're dealing with is grams. And we're done. So that's everything on conversion and using units um, uh, and converting units that comes up in the GCSE paper. All right, so for now, thank you very much for watching and do tune in for another video uh, for GCSE revision. So check it out and speak to you again sometime.